Anybody ever heard of Wayne Montclough? Yeah. Amen? Can I get amen? Yeah. Okay. All right. Wayne Montclough has this thing, and he says, the Bible does not talk about tithing. He says, oh, all this tithing stuff, people beating you on the head, tithing. <clears throat> the New Testament says, you give as God bless you to give. Yeah. All right. But what he fails to recognize is that tithing is the minimum. And then God is saying, give above the tithe. And then he turns around and says, so you don't have to do all that tithing. And he says, we need $2.5 million. <laughs> so if you will, just, you know, I need, those of you who can send $1,000, send $1,000. I know it might be a little difficult. But nevertheless, if you send us $1,000, it will be a blessing to this ministry as this ministry has been a blessing to you. Enough said. Amen. You got to be very, very careful about what you hear. Yeah. yeah. When a man says, don't tie, uh, and then turns around and says, I need $2.5 million. Send me a thousand. <laughs> I know it might be tough, but send me a thousand. And the Lord will surely bless you. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, brothers and sisters, the Lord says that we should give as we are where we are fed. Right. I think it says something that you what? You, you, the, what do you do? Yeah, no, it says something about who do you? The ox? Right. Right. Yeah. For in fact, in church, in church, if any of you who have been in church for a while, if you've been in a church where you haven't grown, you need to get out of there. Talk. If you've been in a church for two, three, four years where you are going regularly and you are attending some Bible mm, studies mm, mm. and the Lord hasn't opened up doors for you and you are not breaking through some things that you could never hear before break through, get out of there. Amen. Amen. Don't give your time. My man. My man. Don't give money. Don't give nothing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Go somewhere where the Lord is blessing. Amen. Because that's a church. Every building that says church, God ain't necessarily there. My man. But if God is there and you're under the word, amen, yes, Lord. not under just uh, hocus philosophy hocus. or preaching to make you feel good, but under the word, Whoa. you should be growing. Amen. You should be gaining in life, yes. overcoming in life. Amen, somebody. Amen. But if you just go in there and all you're doing is leaving every Sunday, ah, we have a good time. Amen. And Boy, you go Lord. back out and you're still enslaved to the same things you've been enslaved to. Amen. Gospel ain't there. Amen. It should be some breakthroughs. Amen. 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 It, it should be a sense of becoming somebody you didn't know who you were. Amen. Of some, some prayers being answered. That's right. Of Amen. Some strength developing on the inside of you. And you should be able to now, as progressively, look at yourself from the reality because Satan and lies like to keep Thank us Lord. blind Hallelujah. to who we really Thank are Lord. so we can't become yes. who God yes. wants us to be. Amen. Right. Amen, somebody. Amen. Now, if you go to a church like that, Woo. then you support the ministry. Amen. See how I didn't say support this ministry? I gave you the choice. If you're not being blessed, don't support it. Hey, bro. <laughs> but if the word of God is reaching you, if you feel it, a sense of moving forward, then support the ministry. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 That's your choice. Because I'm going to tell you something. If I wasn't being blessed here, I'd get out. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Going to where I can be blessed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And so God bless you. <clears throat> Giving is between you and the Lord. Amen. And I'm going to ask those on my left and right to please stand. We'll do the center aisle.